what's up and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here hey i'm erica um for today's video i've decided to do like this quick and easy natural glowy everyday kind of look and um yeah if you guys are interested in creating this look then go ahead and keep on watching okay guys for today's look i'm going to be using the morphe 35f palette which is always pretty natural neutral browns cranberry shades i'm going to be picking up this shade right here it's like this pretty light brown shade i'm taking a more oh. i'm taking a more oh. i'm taking a more three 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 two brush i'm just gonna Go ahead and put that all over my lid and crease. It's kind of like blends all the way So I'm first putting it in like on my outer corner and then I'm like working my way in with whatever product I have left in the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right here with a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the Morrissey 456 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right in the outer corner of my eye. This is just like a, a shade darker than the than the first shade that I put on. So I'm just gonna go back in with that first brush. And I'm just gonna kind of like blend that out. And if you wanna kind of like deepen the look a little bit, just go ahead and add more of that darker shade. It's all about the blending, guys. So. It might take a while, but trust me, it's worth it. Hey, how pretty that is. It's just very natural, something very quick, simple. You know, if you guys are in a rush and you're not trying to do anything dramatic, this is like an everyday go-to look. That's pretty much it. So simple, so simple. If you want to darken it a bit more, go in with a darker brown shade and kind of put that right on the outer corner and then just blend it in with a bigger brush with um, the lighter brown color. But for me, I think I'm gonna leave it like this, something natural, something quick. You know, I'm not trying to do anything too dramatic for today's look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing with my other eye. Sometimes you don't need too much shadows or products to create like a bomb ass look, you know? You guys can even add, like I'm doing all matte, but you guys can even add like a shimmer, like one of these copper shades or like these nice, like they have like this like pretty purple light like kind of shimmer. You guys can add that as well. I probably would add like a shimmery like gold color just like in my hair corner just to give it that little pop. So for my wing today I'm going to go in with the Inglot 77. This is like one of my absolute favorites because it's like black, like black, black. And I also have the Inglot Dura line which is great because sometimes it gets very dry and you want to add like a couple of drops of this and it's like right now so yeah i don't know about you but these girls make it look so easy sometimes i'm like how how then what i like to do is i like to go ahead with the next liquid liner and kind of like go over it just so it look like super snatched like it's gonna look like bomb and if i if you make a mistake just go in with like a concealer and clean it up so for mascara i'm using one from maybelline this one right here the color is so lovely. i don't even know how to pronounce it for lashes today, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty and Olivia Collab in the number 18. 
started with the face, I'm gonna be going in with the YSL moisturizer. I love this because it's very hydrating. And it also has like shea butter, which is really good for the skin. It's like perfect to go like right underneath all the makeup that you're about to apply. So next for primer, I'm gonna be using the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. And I'm just gonna apply that all over like my teeth, like my teeth only area. Like right here, a little bit right here. This is so good because it creates that smooth finish once you apply like your foundation and stuff. All right guys, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites, which is the Lancome um, Tinted Ultra Wear Foundation. I'm gonna be using this brush from Sephora to apply it. What I like about this foundation is that it's a matte, smooth finish, uh, but it's also like long wear and lasts up to 24 hours. And also it's very buildable, so it's like, it has like a medium to full coverage. It's very lightweight as well on the skin, so I love that. It's such a good foundation and the price is so affordable. I think it's like under 50 bucks. But it lasts you so long. Now, one of the things I like to do, I like to go back and like, I like to go back with a beauty blender and kind of like blend it all out. It kind of just creates like that smooth finish. I just like to just go ahead and just like pat that on like that. And you still have like a glow like underneath. Like you could just put on foundation or concealer and like be done. You don't even need any powder or anything with this. Like it's amazing. So today for concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade Warm Honey. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender and I'm just gonna pat it on. Don't like smudge it, like don't, no, just pat it. And it's just gonna create that nice smooth look. And it's just gonna like brighten up the face. Like look how much I just brighten it. So much, you know? All right guys, so to contour my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pacifica Concealer. I think it's in the shade second. I'm just gonna apply this right here. Right here. Here. Just a little bit, and then I can always go back and add more if I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this buffing brush by Real Techniques. And what you wanna do is just kinda like buff everything out, like, upwards not downwards all right guys so to set my um concealer i'm gonna be using this one by chanel like one of my favorites i'm just gonna apply that everywhere where i put concealer on just to set it that way you don't have any creases throughout the day it doesn't get oily and it just makes sure it stays there, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back in with um, that darker brown shade. I'm gonna go ahead and use that color. Put that right under my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade just to blend it out. So for my waterline, I'm gonna go back with that Inglot gel and I'm gonna use the Morphe M250. Go in with that mascara for my lower lashes. The same mascara I used for my top lashes. So to set my contour, I'm gonna use this one by Bobbi Brown. 
is also one of my favorites. This one's in the shade D. To apply my bronzer, I'm gonna use this brush by B&H. It's a one to four brush. Is it one to yeah, four? Yeah, one to four. Okay, I'm gonna apply this to my lid. I'm gonna So now for blush today, I'm gonna be using this one by LA Girls, the Island Hottie Palette. And I'm gonna be going ahead and taking like this pretty peachy color, pink, pinkish peachy, whatever kind of color. And I'm gonna use a Real Technique blush brush. <laughs> blush brush. All right guys, so next for highlight, I'm gonna be using this one by Pretty Vulgar. It's called Shimmery, Shimmery Swan. Hmm. It's like, it's like the nice, cute gold that I guess this year. Apply my highlight, I'm using the Morphe 501 brush. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the Morphe setting spray. Oh my God, I forgot. I wanna add some shimmer to the inner corner of my eye just to give it that little pop and I want to add some to right underneath my brow bone what was I thinking oh my god I'm crazy all right so I'm gonna go let's see what shade should I pick hmm. let's go with this one it's kind of like a champagne goldish color I think that would look really pretty like, look at that. I put a little bit on and that, <sighs> Morphe, oh my God, I love you. Such a good brand. Their brushes are awesome, affordable. Their palettes are like insane. So for lips today, I'm just gonna keep going with that whole neutral, natural vibe. And I'm gonna do a nude lip, of course, because that's like my favorite. Like, I'm gonna go in first with the Kylie True Brown lip liner. Chocolate brown. Mm. Just like me. Hey. I don't know, I'm all about the nudes this summer. Like, I'm, who doesn't love a nude look? Like. And then for lip color, I'm gonna be going in with the I Love Saturday and ColourPop collab in the shade when you let go go. Mm. Looks you want to go away. So guys, that concludes today's video. Um, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy this type of look, this type of natural glowy look. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think, what do you guys want to see next on my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.